Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Idanagone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a link for your GeoGebra Classic software. Uh, what do I mean by that? Just like your YouTube video, you have a link. Every video you upload on YouTube, a link will be created by YouTube. So also GeoGebra, after you have designed your applets, just like this applet I have here, you can create a link for this applet. And this link will be important to your student or to your colleague, wherever they say, just send the link to them. All they just need to do is to click on the link and it will open in their browser and they can use the applet anytime they want it. So let me just demonstrate for you. For example, this is an applet I got from the GeoGebra Classic software and I want to create a link for this applet. So all I need to do first, I must have my internet access in my phone, you see. Internet access is on. All right, then that is one. Then the next thing is to check the applet. Like for example, this is an applet that does a comparing, comparison of fraction. Let me just demonstrate this applet in a few seconds before I show you my main target. All right, you can see this slider here. In this slider, you can see I'm changing the fraction now. This is four over six. So let me leave it in one over six. Then this is for the denominator. We can change this number of um, division of the circle. This is nine division if you count it. So if you go back, so this is six. So that is that. So this is a um, five over two for this other circle. You can also change it just like that. So let me leave this as two. Let me see this. Let me move this to twelve. Let's see. Okay, so the essence of this applet is to compare these two circles. To see if they are equivalent or not. So let's see if 1 over 6 is equivalent to 2 over 12. To do that, you just need to click on this slider. You see, you can see that it's just wrapping from here, it cover up this. That is a proof that both of them are equivalent. But if they are not equivalent, for example, I move this to 4 over um, 12, which is not equivalent to 1 over 6. If you click on this, you can see it's bigger than that. That means the two fractions are not equivalent. So this is a good applet you can use to compare your fractions if two fractions are equivalent or not. So you can see what I'm just doing just to check and that is that. So if you like the applet and you are true with it, you want to save it, so you can create a link. Just make sure you have your internet access in your system. Then come to this place, click on this place, then click on share. So click on share. If you open this, you can title, give the name of your applet. Let me just say compare fraction and name it compare fractions. All right, I'll name this one. Then just click on save. Make sure there's internet in your system as you're doing this. You see, it's saving now. A link has been created. Just copy the link. Just click on copy. Then you can paste this link anywhere you want in your system. Let me open Microsoft Word. Just let me just open my Word so that I can paste it there and save it there so that I can use it anytime, any day I want it. So let it open. So this is my Word now. You can just come here and paste it. So this is the link. You can increase the font. Let me increase the font size. Let's say to 16. So this is my link. I've already pasted it here. I can save it and that is all. So this is how you can create a link in your Microsoft Word. Then if you go to your browser, you can send this link to any of your student or any of your colleagues, wherever this, this applet. You can send it. Just open your browser. Then go to where you save the link. So you just copy it there. So I copied it from my Microsoft where I saved it. And go to my browser, just come here and paste it. Then you browse, you see that applet will open in my browser the same way it opened in my system when I walk on the applet. So this, the network is going now, you can see it's loading now. When it's true, it's loading the applet will come out the same way you want it. You can see it. So this is the applet this time around. I'm working with my internet, you can see those changes I did. You can do your changes, play around with the applet just like that, and it will go to go. So, this is how you can create a link in GeoGebra Classic software.
um, copy the link, save it anywhere you want in your system, then send it to anybody that needs it. All the person just needs to do is to click on the link and it will open like this, or the person can copy it and paste it in the browser and load it and it will open. So that is all I have for us in this video. So I hope you enjoy watching this video and do have a nice day. Thank you for watching.